So this theatre used to be a vascular theatre and after reconfiguration of vascular services regionally it was a dormant theatre for a while. We identified this as a great opportunity to develop a state-of-the-art laparoscopic theatre. As a trust we carry out a huge number of laparoscopic procedures on a, an annual basis and as a, particularly as a colorectal unit we do a huge proportion of bowel cancer resections um, the vast majority of which are carried out laparoscopically a year and there's greater than 300 of those procedures carried out in this trust a year so we wanted to be able to create an environment to provide the best technologies housed in an integrated fashion to be able to deliver um, the best possible care to our patients. Furthermore, as a result of COVID, there's a backlog of a lot of patients in, in every trust in the country and by utilising this theatre as effectively as possible, we free up other operating space to be able to help get through the backlog of those patients. So being able to integrate all of the technology that we want alongside all of the requirements of the day-to-day -day flow of patients and the operating lists into the one theatre greatly helps the efficiency of the lists and it helps the day-to-day -day working environment for the staff. The ergonomics of laparoscopic surgery can often mean that there's heavy equipment to move around and for a surgeon there can be um, postural uh, strains as well. Being able to have multi-monitors mounted from the ceiling and every, all the equipment available on pendants provides a much more ergonomic working environment for the surgeon and the staff. Everything's housed from the ceilings and we don't have to move heavy equipment around in between theatres and this is, greatly helps with the flow of the operating list being able to provide as well a pleasant working environment is great for rapport and staff morale and attracting new staff as well to the trust. So we really wanted to obtain the best possible surgical technology for our patients and we've really done that with this operating theatre. We've got um, the best optical clarity that we're able to visualise by using 3D technology. That's particularly important in a very confined operating space such as deep in the pelvis with cancer surgery and using 3D technology greatly improves our optical clarity. We're also able to use near-infrared technology and indocyanin and green which can help identify the perfusion of bowel in particular importance for us with our procedures again helping to ensure that we're using the most optimal part of the bowel to join to other aspects of bowel. We've integrated endoscopy into the working environment as well and this means that we're not only able to see the bowel from the outside within the abdominal cavity but also from the inside and this greatly helps our decision making intraoperatively but also allows us to fully interrogate the bowel at the end of the surgery as well. We've also housed energy, integrated energy into the operating theatre so we don't have to get energy de devices and um, equipment from other operating theatres to move into this theatre. So when we set out on this journey we initially compared all the potential suppliers, we looked at their surgical technologies that they could offer and also their integrated solutions packages that they could offer, how they could turn the original theatre into a, a very bespoke state-of-the-art laparoscopic theatre. Olympus provided us with all of those options from the start. We tested all the equipment from the various manufacturers and the, the optics and the technology that Olympus had available for this package certainly met and overcame the, the other options from the other suppliers. We've, as a trust we've worked with Olympus in the past and we know that the ongoing servicing um, relationships have always been fully met and that allows us from both from a management but also a clinician perspective to be very comfortable moving forward to develop the theatre with Olympus.